Hey guys, Daniel Elevators here. Today, I'll be doing a little bit of in-depth review of this Adams Elevator emergency phone that I got on eBay. So as you can see, this elevator right here, phone right here, is also manufactured by the EMS Incorporation and Adams. This is what the elevator phone looks like. It's basically a cabinet one. This is actually my first elevator phone I have in my collection. As you can see, this one is made, made in the USA. There's your speakers. Um, uh, as you can see, this is the side, the back. This one's in good condition. We also have these little instructions here. I don't have this connected to a, like a, a telephone setup right now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these two screws off and I'll be back until I get them off. All right, I got the two screws out. So now I'm gonna lift it up. And this is what it looks like. We also have these instructions right here. They're a, pre they're a quick programming guide. And there's your 1-800 number in case you need help. This does run on a 9 volt battery. This is what the board looks like. On top we have is the speaker for the red and black wires and the black and red wires is for the batteries. This is like where you connect your telephone I believe. This one looks like this was used in the telephone before as I can see the wiring. After all it looks nice. So I don't have any telephones yet, but one day in the future or soon, I actually have an Amazon package that I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'll make another video once I get it all wired up, then I'll do a test call. Even though I'm still going to do a test call, even though it's not wired up, I'm, it's still going to be a good video. But yeah, that looks, looks nice. Now let's just put everything back together. This is just see if they're all wired back up. Looks like they are. Yep, they're all back up. Now I'm gonna screw them back on and I'll be back once I get them all screwed up. All right, so I decided to put the two screws back on right here. They're all screwed up. Now, even though, like I just said before, I don't have a telephone for any of this to work. So I'm still gonna do a test call so to show you what it looks like. And we also have your red LED. So if you're stuck in an elevator and you need help and assistance, all I have to do is just press the little call button. Then it should dial. All right, and three, two, one. Right now it's not actually dialing because I don't have a phone set up. So it's going to do all that beeping and all that. Once you're done telling the guy or whatever, your assistant is telling you what happened. To end the call, all I have to do is press the button again and it should hang up the call. Then it's going to do that beep and it should go off. Well, my friends, that's going to be pretty much it of this Adams emergency elevator phone. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.